Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Homey Kids Microscope. You'll receive the microscope, plastic tweezers, two specimen vials, a box of slide labels, a sample slide with fibers in it, and four blank plastic slides. Inside this box is a strip of six blank round sticker labels so you can mark your slides so you know what's on them. The vials are plastic and can hold a small amount of liquid and small specimens. The tweezers are quite narrow and have an opening of about a sixteenth of an inch. It takes very little pressure to operate it, though it's a bit flimsy. The slides are made of plastic and not glass, so they won't break or shatter easily. This microscope measures 8.5 inches tall and has a 5 by 3 inch footprint. It is made entirely of a lightweight plastic and is definitely a novice toy grade tool. The magnification levels are 100x, 400x, and 1200x. To adjust the height and focus of the lens, you'll have to scroll the wheel in the middle. Note that with the highest magnification, it is possible to hit the slide plate by over adjusting the lens, however this will not damage the unit. To move the light higher and lower and adjust its intensity, scroll the small knob near the bottom. This microscope requires two AA batteries, which are not included, to power the LED light. The battery bay door has a mini screw that keeps it on, but it's not really required if you find it to be a nuisance. Turn on the light by using this little red switch on the base. Let's take a look at the demo slide and see what it looks like. Okay, so it seems like there's a fragment of something stuck in my viewing tube. I've unscrewed the eyepiece and yes, it's here in this section. I'll take a quick look inside by unscrewing the top lens, and here you can see a little sliver of plastic that didn't get shaved off properly. I'll carefully remove that with my fingers so that it's no longer blocking my view. Now I can put everything back together. Let's try that again. Here are the fibers on the sample slide. It's a bit hard to tell what they are exactly, but they're definitely visible at 100 times magnification. Here's the slide again at 400 times magnification. And finally at 1200 times. Overall, the microscope works decently well at magnifying, which is what it's supposed to do. It takes a bit of practice to find specimens by moving the slide around, and it's a bit tricky to find the right focus height. But this should be fun for kids learning how to use a microscope for the first time. And it's cool to discover what tiny things actually look like when magnified. For example, the sliver of a plant leaf. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.